As you're reading the news or watching YouTube videos, you've probably heard the term buyer's market or seller's market, and you're wondering what they actually mean. In today's video, I'll go over the three types of real estate markets, what they mean for you, and what they mean for prices. I'm Tyrell Boak, a realtor in Kelowna and the Okanagan, and if you're new to the channel, I help you navigate the real estate market and provide you with useful information to help you make an informed decision that makes sense for you. If you get any value out of today's video, make sure you hit that like button so that other people like you can see this video too, and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Several factors influence the housing market, like interest rates, employment, immigration, and construction, among others. All of these influence the level of supply and demand, which in turn affects prices. There are three classifications used to describe the level of supply and demand in the market. There's a buyer's market, a seller's market, and a balanced market. We calculate the type of market by figuring out months of inventory. That means that if nothing else was listed, how long would it take to sell out all currently available properties based on the current rate of sales? If we have zero to three months of inventory, that's considered a seller's market. In this type of market, there's upward pressure on prices and low inventory. Buyers need to act quickly when they see something that they like in this type of market, and more often than not, they'll find themselves in a multiple offer situation because there's many buyers competing for that same listing. There's a lot of competition for buyers, and most properties are going to sell over the asking price in this type of market. This is generally considered a good market for sellers. In a balanced market, there's typically anywhere from four to six months of available inventory. Homes sell for a reasonable amount in a balanced market, typically close to the asking price. In this type of market, buyers have more opportunity and usually more choices than they would in the seller's market. They typically have more time to make a decision in this type of market because homes aren't selling the minute that they're listed, and they'll also have the opportunity to have some conditions in their offers. For sellers in a balanced market, you need to do your due diligence to make sure your home is ready for sale and is presented in the best way possible. Doing minor improvements like painting and decluttering might also be necessary. Pricing is also very important to you as a seller in a balanced market as you face increased competition for buyers' eyes and their wallets. The good news is, is if you're priced well and priced at market value, you still have a very good chance of getting your property sold. A balanced market is considered a win-win for both buyers and sellers. Anytime the market experiences more than six months of available inventory, it's considered a buyer's market. In a buyer's market, there will be pressure on prices to come down, or at the very least, any increases will be below the pace of inflation. Buyers looking for a deal are going to love this type of market, as there's going to be a ton of properties to choose from, and chances are you're going to be able to negotiate a good deal for yourself, because there will be some sellers who are more motivated to sell than others. As a seller in a buyer's market, your offering price is incredibly important, even more so than in a balanced market. And to have a successful sale, you may even need to price your home for where prices are headed over the next 30 to 60 days, as buyers are going to be looking ahead as to what prices are doing when they take possession, and not necessarily what the market price is today. You'll also need to anticipate that any offer you receive is going to be below your asking price, and it's probably going to contain some conditions. You'll want to be flexible, as the competition for buyer's eyes is the strongest in this type of market, and you want to successfully sell your property. This type of market is obviously an advantage for buyers, but there are opportunities in it for sellers as well. So there you have it. There are three types of real estate market. There's a buyer's market, a seller's market, and a balanced market. The situation is fluid, and a good real estate agent is going to have their finger on the pulse and be able to tell you what your local market is doing on a weekly or a monthly basis. There's no such thing as a good or a bad real estate market, it just depends on who it's good for. Is it good for the buyer, is it good for the seller, or is it good for both, like in a balanced market? I'm curious, what type of market would you like to buy or sell in? Let me know in the comments below which type of real estate market you prefer, and if that changes based on your current situation. If you'd like to book a discovery call with me, hit the first link in the description, you'll be taken to my calendar, where you can book a time that works best for you. We'll see you next time.